Hey, Dad. This is a hard video for me to make, but... Um... I know from some of the videos that I've made, you might think that I hate you. To get that out of the way first, I don't. I don't hate you, Dad. I love you very much. I really do. And I, you know, wish I had more contact with you sometimes. But I want to talk about how I really feel because I think it's finally time to get it off my chest. Dad, you weren't really very... We didn't really connect very well. And I think that was mainly the, the alcohol. It wasn't you. It wasn't me. It was the thing you were dependent on to survive. I know that that doesn't make any difference because at the end of the day, we all make choices. But at the same time, I want to give you the benefit of the doubt. That maybe if you weren't on the alcohol, you wouldn't have um, been as distant, I guess. That... There are a lot of things I wish we could have been able to do together. I wish we could have ended up, you know, being a father-son duo like just about any other family where we have the same, we have some of the same interests, we do some of the same things, and we enjoy each other's company. But of course, you're out of town and I'm here, so... And I kind of blame myself for the, since everything happened, the, the, the continued distance, because I could be doing more to reach out to, which is why I'm making this, because frankly, I don't know how to put it into words on a, a message on Facebook or whatever, but I know how to just speak my heart. That's what I'm good at. You'd be amazed at some of the things that I'm good at now, Dad. <laughs> I bet, maybe, even maybe, you'd be proud of me. I mean, I don't know. You might look at me and go, eh, you know, I don't know anything about this stuff, so I can't say one way or the other, but at the end of the day, you can at least, you could at least possibly be proud of me as a person. I mean, I've grown a lot. Yes, in that way too, I know. Um, but I've just, you know, what I'm trying to say is I, I kind of wish that you would have been more open that you wouldn't have felt the need to drink in order to like yourself. Because to be honest, I've been learning a heck of a lot about how to like myself. I've been having to learn it because I can't keep continuing to look in the mirror and go, ah, I mean, who does that other than teenage girls that think that they have all the time in the world to pretty, up, pretty themselves up? before school <laughs> um but i i want to let you know that no matter what i do like you as a person and i do love you as my father i don't like some of the things you've done in the past i don't like some of the things that are keeping us apart now but I like you, and I think that should be enough to be able to open the door. Maybe a, maybe a crack. Maybe a crack. Now, I don't know what you're going through at the moment, so I can't say for certain that what I would do and what you would do are the same thing, but I want to let you know that no matter what you're dealing with, no matter where 
you're at. I'm ready when you are. I'm ready to try again when you're ready to try again. And maybe we'll find out that we're, you know, better together than we are apart. Or maybe we'll find out that this was just never going to work in the first place. I don't know. But I'm going to counseling today um, because I need to for the surgery and I've been wrestling with some things and this was one of them that I needed to just immediately focus on getting the, the solution out of the way because I know what the therapist would end up saying. He'd say something along the lines of, Gregory, you need to talk to your father. Well, since I know I couldn't message you and expect the message to get across right, I did this instead because it's the only way, like I said, I know how. I, I'd hope you'd be happy for me, at least. I mean, I'm pretty confident you are because you've never, you, you never put me down when it counted. You never put me down when it counted. Now, you put me down when I'd get bad grades and stuff, but then again, I guess that was also kind of my fault for not trying. <laughs> um, as far as the bad grades bit, not the you yelling at me. That was, yeah, that was choices on both of our parts. I yelled bad too, of course. But I would hope you'd be happy for me because, frankly, I, I'm happy where I'm at right now. I'm happy being myself. I'm happy being a per the person I want to be rather than the person that I was ra possibly could have been raised to be because, you know, the whole statistic about abuse, people with um, abusive childhoods that grow up to be abusive people, I kind of don't fit that mold, which I'm glad for. Um... I'm not I'm not saying that it's your fault at all. I'm not placing the blame anywhere than where it really really does lie. And that's just human nature. Human nature is that we hurt other people when we are hurt. So I want to let you know if you're hurting, if you're sad, if you're upset, if you're angry and you need someone to talk to to get it out, I'm here because frankly if I can't be there for you now, how can I expect you to be there for me at all? I mean, I have to kind of bridge the gap at this point because I'm the one that let things get to this point. I could have reached out more often. I didn't because I wasn't ready. Well, now I'm ready. So, Dad, I just want to leave you with this. It's you I like. I like you just the way that you are, flaws and all, because frankly, you are you. No matter what you've done, no matter who you are, no matter what you do now, you're a person, and that's all that matters. And I hope that you can understand that. Sorry, late night last night. I hope you can understand that, and I hope that you can learn to like yourself without the bottle, without anything else, just you being you, because that's an important thing, is liking you. So I want to say that I love you again, because I don't think I ever said it enough when I was growing up. Mainly because I didn't feel like it because I felt like some people didn't deserve love because of the way they treated me. But I've realized that everyone deserves love. To know that they can be loved and love in return. <laughs> Mr. Rogers taught me a lot more than I ever thought. But I thank you for being my dad. 
and for being there sometimes when I really needed you. When it counted, you were a great father. Thank you. And I hope this reaches you. I hope it does.